here has committed crimes against fashion. I sure have. There's this one in 2007, this one in 2009, and this one in 2011. But if you think about it, my every fashion disaster was enabled by the fast fashion industry. And for that reason, and many more, I believe that fast fashion shouldn't exist. But what is fast fashion? But what is fast fashion and why is it so harmful? Well, fast fashion is defined as inexpensive clothing produced rapidly by mass market retailers in response to the latest trends. And rapidly here is an understatement. The fast fashion industry produces 80 billion tons of clothing a year, 400% of what it did 20 years ago. But the issue here, however, is in the health and safety conditions of workers in the garment making industry. Uh, workers are forced to work in overcrowded buildings that lack ventilation, have no clean water, and have restricted access to bathrooms. Um, buildings, and, buildings and materials contain a lot of hazardous chemicals that are dangerous for workers. Workers are also subjected to abuse and violence in the workplace. A devastating example of the terrible working conditions is the Rana Plaza building collapse of 2013 in Dhaka, Bangladesh. Uh, many workers of well-known garment sellers reported cracks in the buildings to managers. Managers ignored all warnings of evacuation and ordered workers back to work. And thus, 1,129 workers died in the collapse and thousands more were injured. In these terrible conditions, workers work 11 to 14 hours a day. Uh, workers are forced into working 11 to 14 hours a day and are forced into working overtime. They work 18 hours a day in peak season. And workers who refuse overtime are either fined or fired. And in these terrible conditions, workers are only paid about 33 cents an hour, barely half of what they need to survive. And don't even get me started on all the environmental issues surrounding the fast fashion industry. Fast fashion takes up, um, produces more greenhouse gas emissions than aviation and international shipping combined. This means that the industry produces 10% of global carbon emissions. Um, and all those emissions uh, produce 85% of those textiles, they all go to landfill. So you heard me right, 15, all, the, all of humanity's closets and stores are only 15% of the clothing we have, and the rest is burnt away in landfill. And so, um, and according to the UN, it's only getting worse from here. Textile waste is expected to increase by 60% by the year 2030. So, so what can we do about this? Well, according to Kristen Leo, a sustainable fashion YouTuber, we can abide by the five R's of sustainability, which are refuse, reduce, repair, Refuse, re reduce, re <laughs> reduce, <laughs> reduce, reduce, repair, reuse, and recycle. First, we refuse. So we say no to buying items impulsively just because they're cheap. Uh, and then second, we reduce. So buying less clothing in general. Third, we reuse. It is always use useful to think of buying clothing as only buying clothing when you can, when you can wear an item of clothing 30 times. And, th and fourth, we repair. So if an item of clothing rips or stains, we can cover it up through embroidery or sewing. Fifth, we recycle. So we can give clothing to family or friends, uh, or we can turn it into other items like wall tapestries or cleaning rugs. Lastly, I wanna leave you all with one final thought. At this very moment, there are people, children even, bending over sewing machines. It is so crowded, they can barely breathe. And we have the audacity to walk through our gigantic malls and buy their blood, sweat, and tears for dirt cheap. And so if we can all make this choice together, fast fashion brands will begin to notice and take steps towards upholding our humanitarian and environmental standards. Thank you.